हेलो स्टूडेंट्स सो वी हैव स्टार्टेड द न्यू चैप्टर रेशियो एंड प्रोपोर्शन इन द प्रीवियस क्लास आई हैव गिवन द इंट्रोडक्शन टू रेशियो बट द फर्स्ट टॉपिक दैट वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व इन द इन द फर्स्ट एक्सरसाइज विल बी बेस्ड ऑन यूनिट मेथड रेशियो विल कम आफ्टर दैट सो यूनिट मेथड यू हैव लर्न इन क्लास फिफ्थ स्टैंडर्ड ऑल्सो वेर द क्वेश्चन सपोज दिस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन आर गिवेन्स ए कॉस्ट ऑफ फाइव पेंसिल इज ट्वेंटी फाइन द कॉस्ट ऑफ थ्री पेंसिल्स नाउ इन दैट क्वेश्चन वट वी डू वी फर्स्ट राइट वट इज गिवेन वी फर्स्ट फाइंड आउट वट इज गिवेन दिस इज द पोर्शन दैट इज गिवेन and this is what you have to find out so whenever more the value of more is given we first find the value of 1 and then we find out the value of what is given now that is a statement type problem like in this case we will write like this first of all we will write what is given here so cost of 5 pencils is equal to rupees 20 now before finding the cost of 3 pencil i'll find out the cost of 1 always find the value of 1 first so value of 1 will decrease that means 20 divided by 5 which is rupees 4 then we'll find out the value of 3 pencils so cost of 3 pencils is equal to rupees so the value will increase again because the number of pencil has increased so with 4 the number of pencil will get multiplied and that gives you 12 so this is this these are the types of maths that you have done in class 5 and also if you see in the questions that you learned in class 5 in integer method only two values were there two values that changed or the values that you have found values you have found out suppose in this question one value is given for the number of pencil the other value is the cost of the pencils in the second part also what you have to find out to see the number of pencil was given and you had to find out the cost so only two basic values were there number of pencils and the cost but in this chapter you will get this type of question also but very few rest questions are there where three different values are there so we'll come to that three different values mean there are three different things which are changing and then you have to find out the answer so we have not done that type of sum in previous class so we will learn that also so we'll start one by one so if i go with question number 1 question number 1 says that sam covers 2 km in 28 minutes so how much distance will he cover in 84 minutes so this is the general type of question that you have learned earlier also two values are there one is distance the other is time so in this much time he is covering this much distance then in this much time how much distance will he cover so there are two values are there only that is distance and time okay so this is the basic one you know so first you find out what you have to find out here actually here you have to find out the distance so the one thing the thing that you have to find out we will write it in the right hand side of the equal sign and the things that are already given will be written on the left hand side so because time in men, time is mentioned twice so that will be in the left hand side only the distance will be written in the right hand side because you have to find out the distance so the first statement says that in 28 minutes he has covered 2 km so distance or say sam covers in 28 minutes that is 2 km and then as i said you have to first find out the value for 1 so sam covers in 1 minute obviously it will be less so 2 divided by 28 next the question says you have to find it for 84 minutes so he covers in 84 minutes now because it has increased again from 1 so when it increases it gets multiplied so into 84 now you will go for cancellation or you can do one thing you can divide the number and then divide sorry you can multiply the number that is 2 into 84 and then divide it by 28 if you are finding problem in cancellation or else you can go for cancellation which makes it much easier say both the numbers are divisible by 2 so 2 if i divide 2 by 2 i'll get 1 so 2 1 the 2 and if i divide 28 by 2 i get 14 so 214 ja 28 next if i take this two number 14 if i divide by 14 14 1 ja 14 14 6 ja 84 so when the denominator comes 1 not need to write that anymore see the numerator 6 into 1 6 km that means in 84 minutes he will cover 6 km question number 2 is same kilometer is given time is given you have to find out but in the second question in the, we have to find out the time so in this case the time will be written on the right hand side in this case the kilometer was written but in the next question the time will come on the right hand side the distance will be here because you have to find out the time so the procedure will be same just the statement will change okay uh, number 3 if you see in number 3 you will get a different type of question from question number 3 like in the question says a box contain 10 pencils cost rupees 22 how much would seven such boxes of 10 pencils each cost now you see here three different values are there number of pencils is there cost is there but again one more thing is changing here number of boxes so three different quantities are there number of box 
number of pencils and the cost so all three of them are changing here so that means when you write the answer when you form the statement all three has to be included you cannot skip anyone neither you can skip the number of pencil neither you can skip the number of boxes first of all what you have to find cost okay now question says that a box contain this much pencil that means in one box there are 10 pencils and that box contains 10 pencils which cost is rupees 22 how can you think about this statement one box has 10 pencil which cost rupees 22 that means you can think it like this that the box the uh, cost of this one box is 22 or you can think it like this the cost of the 10 pencil inside this is 22 that will so you can think okay then says then how much would seven such boxes of 10 pencil constraint so if this type of boxes you take seven times then what will be the cost of that box so what we it can do is that how can you make it short if i try try to write everything in uh, statement will become too long so how can i make it short as the number of pencil in each box is same that is 10 you can see the number of pencil is same in each box one a box contain 10 pencil and seven boxes also it contains 10 pencils only in each box so if each box contain 10 pencil then how many pencils will be there in seven boxes so number of pencils in one box is 10 so the number of pencils in seven boxes will be 10 into 7 that is 70 so this is my total number of pencils what is given in the question that in a box where 10 pencils are there it cost rupees 22 so that means the cost of 10 pencil is given so cost of 10 pencil rupees 22 before going to the original one let me find it for one pencil so for one pencil it will be less so 22 divided by 10 now why do i find the cost of 70 pencils because in the question says that you have to find it for seven boxes and each box contain 10 pencils so the total number of pencils will be 7 10 ja 70 as i have already found here so we'll find the cost of 70 pencils so 22 by 10 into 70 00 get cancel 22 into 7 154 so this is the cost of total 70 pencils or you can say seven boxes of 10 pencils each this cost rupees 154 so three different values were there i have converted into two values that is number of pencils and cost i did not include the number of box anymore here i have just uh, sort out that problem in this statement only i have just brought the number of pencils here and the cost i have taken okay so few more sums will do number 4 the cost of one carton containing 12 shirts is rupees this find the cost of seven such cartons with 10 shirts now there is a problem here you cannot proceed like the previous one why so in the previous one the cost of box having 10 pencil was given and you found out the cost of seven boxes and that seven boxes also were containing 10 pencils only but in this case the cost of one carton that given it contains 12 shirts but they are asking you to find the cost of seven cartons which contains 10 shirts not 12 shirts so how can you do it stick to this thing that one box having uh, 12 shirts that means cost of 12 shirt is this okay fine they are asking you to find the cost of seven cartons which has 10 shirts that means how many shirts are there 7 into 10 70 each box has 10 shirts and there are seven such boxes so or cartons whatever you say so 7 into 10 70 so first let me find out how many total shirts what is the total number of shirts for which i have to find out the cost i have to find out the cost of such shirts that is that are present in seven cartons and in each carton you have 10 shirts so number of shirts in seven cartons 7 into 10 70 now you come to the basic question in the basic question it is said that 12 shirts cost is given so cost of 12 shirts is this we first find it for one shirt cost of one shirt will be this divided by 12 now the, as the question says you have to find it for seven cartons which contains 70 shirts so we'll find out the cost of 70 shirts so it will get multiplied by 70 so if i do cancellation i have directly done it 12 if you cannot do it directly you can start with 2 you can start with uh, 3 as according to your convenience so i have directly done it 2 uh, sorry 12 12 on the 12 12 5 the 60 6 gets carry over 12 5 the 60 12 0 the 0 and then i multiply them my answer is 38500 that is the cost of 70 shirts or you can say 7 cartons with 10 shirts uh, i have not done question number 5 question number 5 is a motorcycle cover 6 km in 5 minutes what distance will it cover in 2 hours that is like question number 1 and 2 only but keep in mind it is given as 2 hours and this is given in minutes so what you have to do first is you have to convert this hours into minutes okay 2 into 
120 minutes so you will write take it as 120 minutes not 2 hours okay let us move to question number 6 mohit takes 12 minutes to travel 10 km find the distance mohit cover in 3 hours so i have done the same type of question for you that is number 6 you can get the idea from here only so because here also you can see distance is given for minutes so first i'll convert, convert this one to minute so 1 hour means 60 minutes so 3 hours means 3 into 60 180 minutes now because they are asking you to find the distance and time is already given so distance will be written on the right hand side mohit travels in 12 minutes it is given already in the question that is 10 km but you have to find it for 180 minutes that is 3 hours but before that we will find for 1 minute so mohit travels in 1 minute 10 divided by 12 and then we go for the 3 hours which is equal to 180 minutes mohit travels in 180 minutes it has increased again so it will get multiplied so 12 1 is 12, 12 15 is 180, 10 into 15, 150. So this is the distance travelled in 3 hours, that is 180 minutes. So that is done. In the same way you will do question number 5 also. Then I have done question number 7 for you again. It is given that 2 cartoons, 2 cartoons they have given of 10 shirts each. Cost of is 1200. And what will be the cost of 4 cartons of 15 shirts each? First they have given you the cost of 2 cartons, not 1 carton. How many shirts are there in each carton? 10. Then what will be the number of shirts in both the cartons? 2 into 10, 20. So that is what I have written. Cost of 2 into 10 which is equal to 20 shirts. It is already given to you. 2 cartons and each carton having 10 shirts. So 2 into 10, 20 shirts and the cost is given 12,000. Find out the cost of one shirt that is 12,000 divided by 20. Now they are asking you to find the cost of 4 cartons with 15 shirts. So one carton has 15 shirts, there are 4 cartons. So total number of shirts will be 4 into 15. So cost of 4 into 15 that is 60 shirts will be 12,000 by 20 into 60. 0, 0 gets cancelled. 2, 1 is 2 and 2, 3 is 6. 3 into 12,000, 36,000. So this is the cost of total 60 shirts. So see very short we have done though there are many numerical values. So you can make it short like that. I have not done number 8. You can try yourself. It will be same as number 7 only. Uh, let us go to number 9. Though uh, number 9, it is not of this type. It is, uh, it is having only two values only. But it is having two different questions. Reverse question. Say in first case, it is given that 15 picture postcards cost rupees this much. Find the cost of 24 picture postcards. So cost of 15 is given. Find the cost of 24. So general question. Cost of 15 picture postcard is given 105. We find it for one picture. Divide. And then we find it for 24 pictures. That will get multiplied again. So all the necessary cancellations I have done, 5, 3 is 15, 5, 21 is 105, 3, 1 is 3, 3 is 24, so 21 into it, 168, this is the first part. Second part, the question is reversed. In the first part, you found out the cost. In the second part, you will find out the number of picture cards. Now it is said that if in 105, if I get 15 picture cards, then in rupees 56, how many picture cards, postcards I will get. So the question has been reversed. Now you have to find out the number of postcards. So that will be written on the right hand side now. So question says, as the question has said that in 105 rupees you will get 15 postcards. So number of postcards bought for rupees 105 is 15. Then we will find the number of postcards bought for rupees 1. So obviously there will be less. So 15 divided by 105. Now the question asks that how much you will get for 56. So number of postcards for bought for 56, this multiplied by 56. So 5 3 is 15, 5 21 is 105. 3 1 is 3, 3 7 is 21, 7 1 is 7, 7 8 is 56. So you will get total 8 postcards. So these are the types of questions. Question number 10 is again same like this A7, 8, all these things. 25 bags of wheat is given, each weighing 40 kg, cost to pay this much. So just try this one. You can follow the sums that I have done in question number um, this, uh, 3, 4, 7, all these I have done. All these are of this type only. So you can try. Okay. So I hope you have got the video, uh, you have understood the video, the sum type of sums. So write them and the remaining sums that are left out, you can try them and solve it by the process that I have shown you. Thank you.